The Newcastle inner city bypass is a fast travel north to south arterial road to service large amounts of traffic. The construction of the inner city bypass has generally been a scrappy disjointed project, with its distinct sections being opened gradually over a span of 50 years. It's not the most efficient engineering project for the state's second largest city. Anyway, it all started with section two, because why should they start with section one, right? The Mile Road Katara to McCaffrey Drive Rankin Park consisted of 2.4 kilometers of roadway. Initiated by the Department of Main Roads in the late 1960s, a planned route through Black Butt Reserve was abandoned and instead the existing Lookout Road section was widened and developed into a four-lane dual carriageway road. Construction finished in 1983. So after section two, the next part was obviously section four, the Newcastle Road Jesmond to Sandgate Road Shortland, which covered 3.2 kilometers. Originally dubbed the Jesmond to Shortland Relief Route, but to locals as the road to nowhere, this stage was approved in January 1981, with construction commencing in May 1984, and opened in June 1993, nine years for 2.4 kilometres of road. The third part of the inner city bypass was section one, known as the 6.5 kilometre West Charlestown bypass, which started at Pacific Highway Bennett's Green to Mile Road Cardiff. Earthworks for the longest part of the project commenced in July 2000 and it opened to traffic in early 2003. The next part tackled was Section 5, Sandgate Road Shortland to Pacific Highway at Sandgate, a distance of 2.3 kilometres. Pre-construction activities for this northernmost section began in June 2010. The section was officially opened to traffic in January 2014. That brings us to this current and final part, Section 3, McCaffrey Drive, Rankin Park to Newcastle Road, Jasmine, which is 2.3 kilometres in distance. In June 2014, the New South Wales Government pledged $280 million, including $150 million from the New South Wales Government, to finalise this section which involves constructing a new entrance to John Hunter Hospital. State government approval was granted in February 2019, with construction beginning in late 2021, with completion proposed to occur by mid-2025. This is one of the most important and beneficial infrastructure projects in Newcastle seen in the past four decades. Apart from residential high-rise, this disappointingly greatly illustrates of how little else has been done in Newcastle over the past 50 years. The state and federal government really needs to improve the city in many more areas to come.